Did you know there's a way to solve this water crisis in the Southwest that's on the Colorado River we've been hearing about, and it won't cost the taxpayer a cent? Hi, I'm Don Sifkis in the National Infrastructure Bank, and I'm here with my colleague, Alfeka Mutardi, a macroeconomist who has 25 years experience with the International Monetary Fund. We're here today to talk to you about an idea for making the United States the number one industrial power in the world again. We've fallen into disrepair in terms of our public infrastructure projects around the country. And this is an exciting idea with a current bill in Congress that can provide up to 25 million jobs and $5 trillion in lending authority. Alfaka is going to give you some details on this bill, and then I'll come back and go through just one example of what this bill can do for the American people. I want to tell you about a bill in Congress, HR 3339, to create a $5 trillion public bank to lend for public infrastructure projects all across the country. We need a bank like this because we're simply not able to finance America's infrastructure through budgets. This bank will cover $5 trillion in projects. It'll build out our electric system. It'll build out new rail systems, fix all of our water infrastructure, fix our roads, and get water to the Southwest where we grow our nation's food supply. We need your help to get a petition signed to ask our members of Congress in 2023 to reintroduce this bill and get it going and moving in the Congress to finance infrastructure projects. Now, let's just talk about water for, for a minute. Right now, the Colorado River is an absolute disaster looming over all of us. If the water levels in Lake Powell and Lake Mead, the two largest water reservoirs in the United States are allowed to go lower, Food prices in supermarkets that we already know have risen greatly during this inflation are going to skyrocket beyond what we can hardly believe. Furthermore, those dams in back of those lakes are already down to about 60% of their capacity for generating water because the water levels are so low. This has got to be fixed. We have got to get more water to the uh, Lakes Mead and Lake Powell on the Colorado River. And the best way to do that is to find a water source where that has no political constituency. The place that I know of that has this is the Atchafalaya River in Louisiana that allows water that is being diverted for flood control purposes by the Army Corps of Engineers to simply go into the Gulf of Mexico. This is an immense amount of water. It averages 2 million gallons per second every day not generating any electricity, not providing any commercial shipping. We want to take 5 to 10% of that, build an aqueduct similar to the California aqueduct and the Colorado River aqueduct that we know how to do, and ship it to Glen Canyon on the Utah-Arizona border and allow the existing infrastructure on the Colorado to take that water to farms and cities in the Southwest. This is not only needed by the Southwest, for their hydro power production and uh, water resources for farmers, but it is also needed nationwide. We grow $40 million a year of agricultural products in these states. And if they are, if these farms are allowed to run dry, we will have escalating food prices, especially for beef, for fresh vegetables that'll hit supermarket uh, stores all across the country. Again, this is just one example of where we can build out our nation's infrastructure. Uh, as Don said, we have huge needs. All these things can be done with the National Infrastructure Bank, the same as they were done in our nation's past. We had four large banks in our nation's past that were very successful. And Don is going to tell, tell you about some of the projects that were built by the most recent one, the Reconstruction Finance Corporation. The Lincoln Tunnel that connects uh, New Jersey with New York was built by this process. The California Aqueduct, the Hoover Dam, and the Bonneville Dams on the Columbia River, uh, the Tennessee Valley Authority. Over 2,300 projects were done around the United States. Every single county had something done by the Reconstruction Finance Corporation of World War II. It should never have been discontinued. I don't know why it was. The trouble is nobody who was involved with it is currently alive today, but we need to do this again. And uh, we really need your signature on this petition so we can get Congress to bring this bill to the floor of the House and the Senate uh, for a vote in the coming Congress. If we go into a recession next year, and it looks very much like we might, 
then we can offset this recession by hiring workers into great paying jobs. So you can help, you can absolutely help by signing our petition. We must let Congress know that we want action now.